Today we're going to be covering Dirty Honey's Rolling Sevens. Uh, it's from a new EP that they released. Another really good song from them. This one's going to be a little bit more tricky than When I'm Gone, which is the first song on the EP, probably one of their most popular ones. Um, and it's it's just because they're you're going to have to use this technique called hybrid picking. So you're picking with the pick in your hand, and you're also using your other fingers uh, in the opening riff just to get the top two strings. <laughs> having the bass note with your pick and your fingers will be picking the, the treble notes. Um, so this is, to start off with, this is in uh, E-flat tuning, E-flat standard, so a lot of people refer to it as slash tuning as well because that's all that slash plays in. So slash tuning and let's get right into it. So um, to start off with, I have not a whole lot of gain for my tone and I'm playing on the bridge pickup for most of the song or all of the song really. And I've got my tone knob set to about five. So it gives you that sort of dark tone to your guitar from this, from this bridge pickup right here. So starting off, you're gonna play the E string with your pick. You'll play it twice. And then with your middle finger and fourth finger, you're gonna be picking the B string and E string. So one, two, three two on the bass note and one on the B string, E string. And then you put your, with your left hand now, fourth fret on the G string, third fret on the B string. So you play, you play those with these fingers as well. Uh, so you play B string, E string, and then G string, B string. And the G string, B string has your fingers on there to get that, that chord. And then you play the E bass note again. And then you play that uh, fourth fret G string, third fret B string again. And then you go to second fret G string and B string. And then you play the E again. And then that second fret again. And then just open G string and B string. So. second finger on the third fret of the E string, you could do like a little half bend and then, and then back into it. So you play, after that, you play it twice again, the bass note, and then you play back to fourth fret on a G string, third fret B string, and then slide down to the second fret on both, E string again. Now you're going to play open G, open B, but then you're going to hammer on first fret of the G string. So you play them together and then you hammer on on the G string first fret. And then you play the open E to add to that. It's like the, the top part of a, an E major chord, or an E flat major chord because of the tuning. So all together. part going into the verse it goes through the verse doing the same thing so what I'm doing also just a little technique thing here uh, when I'm picking in between what I'm doing is I'm putting I'm picking and then I'm putting my fingers right back in place to get them ready for the next one so, and it also mutes any background noise from from coming in so, so just little quick picks and then it figures back on ready in position the hardest one to do that with is going from the b string e string to the g string b string and then going that just descending down uh the frets on the b string g string it's just uh same principle it's just easier because you're not jumping strings muting that as well just to get quieter because my guitar right now is at a pretty loud I can get it 
it to be at a pretty loud level and the beginning of this song um, it's it's fairly quiet so without turning down your volume and thinning out your sound you just kind of palm mute it and make sure you making sure your, your fingers go back on the strings to kind of mute them and get out any background noise. Anyway, so it does that two times for the intro, I believe two times for the verse, and then it goes into this, this build up to the chorus, so it's an A major chord, it's all second fret, D string, D string, D string. And what I'm doing here, I'm playing an open A string, and then a B string. So one, two, it's kind of like a, a folk type rhythm, uh, sort of. So A string, B string, and then D string, G string. And then what you're doing here, you're playing, you're going to go to this like inverted D chord. So you're playing the second fret of the D string, and then you're hammering onto fourth fret of the D string. And then you're going to play second fret G string, third fret B string. And what I'm doing, I, I go, I hammer on, and then I pick it again once it's there. And then you pick the B string and the A or the G string. Sorry. And then back to the A chord. times it goes up to uh, ninth fret on the E string and it's it's a power chord so ninth fret on the E string and eleventh fret on the A string. So you're gonna play first finger, third finger, and then your pinky, this is gonna be a bit of a stretch for some of you, especially standing up. Um, so you're gonna stretch your pinky to Sorry, I got the frets wrong there. Seventh fret and ninth fret, not ninth and eleventh. My bad. Uh, seventh fret on the E string, ninth fret on the A string. And then you're going to stretch your pinky to the eleventh fret on the A string. So one, two, three, four. Pinky stretches. One, two, three, four. And then what you're doing here with your first finger, instead of stretching your pinky even further to the twelfth fret, you're just going to use your first finger because the A, same, same right here as here. So instead of stretching that far, you just kind of bar down with your first finger and only play the D string, A string, and E string. So. so it goes regular power chord up to the 11th fret and then the bar back to 11th fret and then regular power chord. 11th fret, and then back to regular, and then G chord, and then this is a D chord, they do this a lot, um, this was another thing in When I'm Gone that they did, they reach their thumb over top, or John reaches his thumb over top the net, and uh, second fret of the E string, and so you can get like that full full D major chord all the way down, down the net, so you can just play everything. Up. but again you're leaving out the E string on the bottom. So coming back up here. And then you go into an E power chord. So just simple E power chord, second fret of the A string. And then you're going to play a little chromatic sequence on the E string. So 2nd fret to 3rd fret to 4th fret. And then 2nd fret A string. 4th fret A string. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. So 4th fret A string. And then back to 2nd fret A string. So. And then open D. And then 2nd fret D. song works it's kind of uh, you, you got to play it like it's swung so instead of just playing straight eighth notes you're gonna that's the kind of feel you're going for down quick up down up down up down instead of down up down up down and then 
between that riff, he goes so it's down, up, down, and then he goes back to that E power chord. Same chromatic sequence, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, second fret, eighth string, fourth fret, eighth string, second fret, eighth string, open D, and then quickly to the third fret of the E string, and then second fret, D string, and then third fret, E string, second fret, E string, and then you're back into it. So that's the first part of this little chorus riff. into it and then you're going to play a D power chord which I do here so you just it's a D chord without the E basically so you play D and then second fret G string third fret B string and then A power chord and then back to so that first time through you're going to be playing second time First and third are the and second and fourth and on the fourth time I'll just play through the whole thing together uh, slowly so you guys kind of get the idea of it. So. once in a song and that it's uh, that second intro going to the second verse so if, if you want to do it feel free if not it's not a huge loss um you're still getting the rest of the song so uh yeah goes through that goes back into the a major chord <laughs> B 
power chord again. G, D with that thumb over top, and then riff again. Towards the end, you're not gonna do uh, the. You're gonna go. You're gonna do it the same way as you do it the second time. So this one is the exception. First and third times are the same. Second and fourth times are the same because it goes right into the solo after the fourth. So fourth time. That goes right into the solo, so you can't be doing. So uh, just play it the same way as you did the second time, which will be a bit easier because it's not as quick. Um, and then going into the solo now. Um, so you're going to be 11th fret, G string, whole band. So one, one, two, three, four, five with the band, and you have to release and re-bend every time. And then the, the sixth time, you're going to play it bent and then release and then pull off to 9th fret and then 11th fret on the D string and then 11th fret on the G string 11th fret on the D string 9th fret on the G string 11th fret on the G string and then a half bend on the 11th fret of the G string so. And it goes 
it waits a little bit, and then you play down here D string on the fifth fret. And a little bit of a bend there, not not anything super super big, just a little bit slight bend. And then here it goes to 12th fret on the G string, and your first finger is on the uh, 10th fret of the B string. So you do that whole bend on the G string, and then your finger on the B string stays. So what you're doing here, the bend, and then you play 10th fret B string, and then hammer on, pull off, 13th fret of the B string. And then back to that bend on the 12th fret of the G string. You do that twice. And then the third time you go on, hammer on to the 13th fret of the B string. And then you play 12th fret, hammer on, and then pull off, and then you pull off the 12th fret. So you hammer on to the 13th, pull off uh, to the 12th, and then pull off to the 10th. And then 12th fret G string. And then here you're just descending a pentatonic scale. So uh, 10th fret of the B string, 12th fret G string, uh, 9th fret G string, uh, 13th fret D string. 12th fret D string, 10th fret D string, and then 12th fret A string. And then up here, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, especially if your strings are thicker or if you haven't been playing as long, uh, because this bend, it is one and a half steps. So you're bending from 12, 15, 17th fret all the way to 20th fret. So uh, B string, 17th fret, you bend up, and then you play the 17th fret on its own, and then 16th fret on the B string, 15th fret on the B string, and then 13th fret on the B string, and then back to 15th, back to 13th, full bend on the 15th, release, and then uh, 13th fret on the B string, 14th fret on the G string. And then it goes back into this D power chord. Two guitar parts recorded in a recording. I haven't seen it live before. Um, so back down to 17th fret, and then you play 15th fret on the B string. So this is all on a B string up here. And then you go slide on the G string, 18th fret to the 17th fret on the B string. So you slide 18th, and then you play the 17th twice on the B string. So this little lick right here, you're going to do um, 16th fret G string, and then hammer on to the 17th fret, and then pull off, and then 14th fret on the G string. So that's, that's another lick where you're 
starting in the middle, you hammer on, you pull off, and then you pull off again. So. And then you play 17th fret on the D string, 14th fret on the G string, 17th fret on the D string, 14th fret on the or 17th fret on the G string, D string, and 14th fret on the D string. to that 15th fret, whole bend on the D string, and instead this time on 17th fret you bend up, but you don't come back down, you just hold the bend, and 15th fret on, on for this last one here, 15th fret on the B string, and then whole bend, 17th fret on the E string, and then you go right to 15th fret, whole bend, and then a uh, pentatonic scale descent. So 12th fret E string, 15th fret B string, 12th fret B string, 14th fret G string, 12th fret G string, 14th fret D string, 12th fret E string, 14th fret A string, and then you hold the 12th fret of the A string, and then right at the end here, the little half bend, and then 15th fret of the E string. So. And that's how the song ends right there. So um, once you get the hang of it, not too bad. Getting the hang of it, that might be a bit of a struggle. Um, but if you guys keep keep trying, take it slow at first. Don't try and do it full speed. Just try it. getting that swing in there because it doesn't sound right if you don't have that um, and yeah so if you guys have any other questions don't don't be afraid to leave a comment down in the section below um, yeah just leave whatever whatever questions you have and also I have an Instagram account for those of you who haven't followed it yet I'll leave that linked in the description below and you should definitely check that out because I do post a lot on there that I do not post on YouTube just because they're shorter clips of little solos that I've done for example, today I did John Mayer slow dancing in a burning room, just like a little uh, clip of that and put that on Instagram, but it's not going to be on here because it's only 40 seconds long. So um, yeah, if you want to check out more of my stuff, feel free to follow me on Instagram. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll, until next time, keep on rocking guys.